The sophomore sensation Carson Edwards lit up the scoreboard the last two games, putting up 43 points combined in that stretch while the Purdue Boilermakers continued to dominate. Fresh off Big Ten Player of the Week honors, Carson Edwards joins us now for more. And Carson, congratulations on the weekly award. What was your reaction upon receiving that? Uh, thank you, first off. But uh, I'm just happy, just happy to be able to, to get that award and just seeing some progress in my game. But just taking it, and I'm blessed to get it. But then we're also just working to, to keep winning games. And you guys have been winning games. 15 straight, that's tied for a second longest in school history. Why has this team been so unstoppable the last 15 games? Um, I mean, I, I believe I just, just uh, the coaches uh, preparing us for every game and us just trying to stay focused and just, just understanding and learning from the last game, the things we need to work on and stuff like that, just staying focused, knowing what we want. This season seemed to be off to an entirely different start as you reflect back to November. A couple of difficult losses mm -hmm. in Bahamas. But now that you've experienced the ex success that this team has, as you reflect back on those losses, how did that change the scope of the season <clears throat> for this group? Um, I believe, I believe just, uh, I mean, winning a few games before those two losses in a row, just understanding that uh, the season can, your season can change real quick from being ranked to being out of the top 25 real quick and just uh, then after winning some games, you got to stay on edge and understand that you can be beat any night. So just trying to stay focused. What's Matt Painter's message been through all of this? Basically just that, just stay on edge, uh, uh, stay on edge through success and not have uh, losses be the reason why you uh, tighten up, be more focused and want to work harder. Just just take those those wins and learn from those. And you guys have won a lot at home, 19 straight at Mackey Arena. Why is it such a tough road environment for your opponents? Um, I mean, I'd say, I mean, everyone comes, the support, just everyone comes out. It's, it's loud, and, and I believe that, that affects them a lot. But, I mean, just, uh, just the support and everyone showing up and things like that it helps a lot and just us being used to playing there so much. You guys are not only winning these games, you're absolutely dominating. The last three Big Ten games, you guys have won by a margin of over 23 points. That's the first time that's happened in school history, three in a row that that's happened. How do you make sense of that? Um, I don't know. We just, I just know we're just going to keep working and just uh, stay prepared. Because, I mean, it's a, it's a high level of basketball, so we understand that every team we play, they're going to they're be able to play well. So we just got to keep working and stay focused and try our best to scout them and be prepared. What was the biggest takeaway from your most recent victory against Iowa? Um, I mean, just honestly following the scouting report, just understanding uh, there's different players on the, um, different players with different skill sets on each team and understanding different ways to guard them and knowing that you may have to guard this one player different from the next. So just understanding that going into the next game like Michigan where they're very skilled uh, at all five positions, so yeah. On the topic of that and guarding different players differently, you guys successfully did that against Michigan as you reflect back to that win by a margin of one point on January 9th. Completely made Mo mm -hmm. Wagner a non-factor in that one. So why was the switching screen so effective for your group defensively against a player like him? Uh, yeah, because it's just he can really shoot the ball. So, I mean, understanding that him coming off the screen, if he slips the screens and he's He's open and we're trying to guard it. So just knowing that we switch, if he makes contact with us on the pick and roll, to switch so that he won't get that open shot. And then just if he rolls into the post, we try to front him. So we're just working on that. But they also have a really good offense with uh, shooters around him, people that can play off the dribble. So you just got to be ready. How do you best contain that on Thursday night? Um, I believe it's the focus, whether you're on the ball or off the ball, just paying attention to detail and, and trying to contain the dribble once you're, once you're guarding the man with the ball. What's the biggest challenge you're up against in terms of this matchup, knowing what you learned from January 9th when this game came down to a matter of inches in, in Ann Arbor? Um, we know they can get on runs. Obviously, any team can get on runs. But understanding just uh, when they make switches and they have mismatches, whether that's a, us like a guard on a big or a big on a guard, just understanding to try to play help defense, but just try to get the stop most importantly because the game's going to come down to stops. Carson, let's go big picture now. What's the biggest difference from this year's Purdue team as opposed to last year's? Um, the biggest difference? I, don't, I mean, other than, of course, not uh, Caleb Swanigan not being here. I mean, I mean, I mean, our seniors now, our seniors now, I feel like they've stepped up so much more and taking a leadership role in, uh, and working, us, working with us young guys to make sure we uh, take care of our business on and off the court just to try to stay focused because they know what they want 
as this being their last year. So that's probably the, the biggest difference, if anything. Lastly, an off-court question for you as a Houston, Texas native. What was the biggest culture shock moving from the southwest to the midwest of West Lafayette, Indiana? Uh, I have to say probably seeing snow. It is so <laughs> cold here. And uh, before I even came here, I didn't even own a coat. I didn't need to. So that was probably one of the biggest things, the biggest differences for me. And, and I'm still trying to get used to it now. It is cold. Layer up over there. Yes, uh, we apologize Hammer for the down. weather. Thank you. But you're making the most yes, of it on the basketball court. Well, Carson, we so much <laughs> yes, appreciate your time. Take care. All right. Thank you. You too.